Earlier, we reached Shule John in Adana, Turkey. She and her family were asleep when the earthquake struck. They are now displaced from their home. Here's how they're coping. We, we were really scared. Um, but, you know, um, for my, I have a baby daughter, so for her to be safe, um, I tried to just remain calm. So we grabbed whatever we, we could, um, and we, we just left, and we just drove, you know, um, to a safe uh, spot. Um, and right now, we are um, staying on campus um, at the university where um, I work as a professor. Um, so, you know, with my family, with my um, husband's family. Uh, so we are just staying in the office. Um, and um, at least, you know, um, it is safe and warm right now. And, and, and luckily, they were able to get some food, um, you know, uh, to us today. So, um, you know, it is uh, relatively better here in Adana. Um, it is much worse in some other cities. Um, so, um, you know, we have electricity. So um, we have water for now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Over here. Well, you seem very brave. You're being very matter of fact. But this is just uh, an incredible uh, ordeal for your whole family, I'm sure. Yes, my hometown is actually Antakya, and um, I'm really concerned about all friends and family there. Uh, almost all my family members are um, in Antakya, and they're all displaced. Uh, some of them are safe, um, but, you know, we cannot get a hold of so many people, and they're under the rubbles, and, you know, almost the whole city is almost ruined, really. Um, and there is really little emergency aid that they get and um, people are still waiting to be rescued in, right. in Antakya. It is uh, it's a border town. Um, it's called Hatay on the Turkish-Syrian border and it was hit really hard. So the situation there is far worse than Adana. The, the, the whole town is, is a cemetery now. So um, it is just like everybody is just screaming to be rescued who are alive. but. At the same time, there's so many deaths that they cannot even get to, like, you know, uh, bury them properly. So um, it's really it's really bad. And still, there is no excavator mach machines enough. There is no enough machinery to help people. And it's been, like, almost, you know, 40 hours. So really, we need the help uh, sooner than later, you know? Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's, it's a matter of time. Yeah. So um, there's there's no enough help. That's the biggest problem right now. Right. Uh, I mean, what would you like to see in terms of help from the international community? You're, I mean, you're lucky, as you say, you're now in a safe place and you have water and so forth. But I mean, to get through to, you know, it's almost too soon to try and talk about normal life resuming. But what would help? Mm -hmm. Well, um, if international community can help with the, you know, um, kind of getting experts into the areas where, you know, um, they can deal with the earthquakes and help the local communities, that will, I think, be very helpful. But we also need these um, excavator machines, you know, to really get people out of the, the, the ruins, out of the rubbles, right? So that's why. I know there are so many people who are trying to donate, you know, they have really good intentions, but right now there is nothing like you can reach out, you know, to get any stuff for the people. So we need food, we need equipment, we need machines, you know, um, but most importantly, we need water. So really it is very important for international community to coordinate with disaster management, management here in Turkey uh, with the governor's office and then get help as soon as possible. That was Shule John in Adana, Turkey.